Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday. It is May 7th. Happy new moon. I wanted to do a new moon reading. See what comes out. We're going to call him St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, if you thought, what or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call in the Holy Spirit, angel, saint, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. Let's see. The new moon energy for the collective. New moon energy for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. New moon energy. New moon energy. Oh, I love it. All right. So the first card out is soulmate. Now this can be you uh, connecting with a romantic partner, a high level divine soulmate. This can be you coming into union with the divine, coming into union with your higher, higher self. Um, calling in partnerships that are aligned for you, whether it's friendship, business partnerships, or romantic. But I see you taking a brand new leap of faith. This new moon energy is calling in a new beginning. Uh, you're being led toward Treasure Island with the turtle here. This is due to your uh, devotion, your dedication. The bottom of the deck is higher power. This is the divine stepping in to restore stability, to protect you. Okay, so this new moon energy, that's beautiful. All right, so we'll do the Celtic Cross, and we'll just see the energy of the new moon. Um, if you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm only I'm only taking 10 appointments per week, so make sure you schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find the links to both my scheduling app and Astrodipity in the bio TikTok description of YouTube. Also, if you're interested in entering the drawing, um, it's $20 for an entry, and you can enter as many times as you want, but you can only win once. So um, just make sure you put in the comment on Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App that it's for the drawing. All right, current situation. Current situation. Four of Wands. Yeah, a union. This can also represent stability, being restored, strengthening of a union. If you're not with this person yet, it's beautiful. Uh, that's new moon energy. All right, the challenge. What's the challenge? We got seven of pentacles. This is perseverance. Somebody's challenged by your perseverance. You've been patient. You've been waiting. This represents perseverance, patience, long-term view, coming to fruition, harvest, ripen investments. So somebody is challenged by your ability to wait it out, to wait for what it is you deserve. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Um, let's get the focus. What's the focus, please? Focus. King of Wands. Now, this could be a King of Wands that's focused on you. Um, this could be a King of Wands that's coming into union with you. Or this could be someone from the past that's focused on you. Because the bottom of the deck, we see regret. We'll see more when we clarify. Past energy, please. Past energy. Nine of Wands. You were the wounded warrior. You went through a lot in the past. Uh, but you had determination and courage. You learned to set boundaries. This was a test of faith for you, and you passed it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see your strength. Strength. Strength for the collective. Queen of Pentacles. You're grounded. You're stable. You're abundant in your energy. You know, if somebody said you were imbalanced, whether it's mentally, physically, financially, whatever, you're not. You're in the upright. You're very grounded and stable. You ha have a business mind. Some of you could ha be business owners. You don't have to be. But this is just saying you're very grounded and stable. Um, near future, please. Near future. Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing. We'll have to see what that's about. Somebody still wants to lie, cheat, or steal? Haven't they learned their lesson yet? Apparently not. Um, advice. Oops. Second, guys. <sighs> well, the advice is <laughs> two of swords in reverse. You see through illusion. You see very clearly. Um, you know, and you're putting death to it. You can already see it a mile away. Somebody coming in a deceptive energy, and that's why you're you've put death to the situation. There is no confusion or illusion for you. 
um, in the environment, please. In the environment. One more in the environment, please. Yeah, in the environment, people can see that someone has put a lot of work into a karmic situ situation that's falling apart. It says misaligned values, disharmony, trust issues, disconnected and imbalance. But in the environment, people can see someone put a lot of work in, but someone here is going to be abandoned or rejected or in financial ruin with the five of pentacles. But it's in the environment, so it's known by many, okay? that I, I don't think that has anything to do with you guys. Um... Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Somebody's afraid that somebody's going to walk away from them. Whether it's a masculine or a feminine energy, I'm not sure. But somebody's afraid that uh, somebody's walking away. Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome, please. One more. Yeah. There's going to be a tower. This is due to deceit, deception. So this fear, and I believe it's the person in the Seven of Swords energy from your past. It's afraid that their karmic partner that they're with is going to walk away. And we see in the near future that there is a tower due to deception. Could be around money. Ace of Pentacles. This could have to do with money. Yeah, somebody may have created an illusion around money. Wow, okay. So, let's clarify. All right. Current situation, we have the Four of Wands. Please clarify the Four of Wands. Current situation for this new moon energy. Yeah, <laughs> Ten of Cups. That's your current situation. Either you are in a divine union or you're calling in a divine union that leads to everlasting joy and happiness. That's beautiful. The challenge is somebody's challenged by your perseverance. You're committed. You're devoted. You are patient. Uh, the challenge. Seven of coins. The challenge. Yeah, they see you're moving on. This is somebody that is spying on you. They're seeing you're too committed. You're too devoted. You're planting good seeds. You're moving on to victory. And they are watching. And they're challenged by what they're seeing. Um, let's see the focus. We have a King of Wands. Please clarify this King of Wands. Whoops. Wow. So, somebody's focused. This King of Wands is focused on either walking away from a situation that they're in or the fact that you walked away. They now see you as this earth angel. You're very temperate. You're balanced. You're patient. You are in this very loving, high vibrational energy. So, look at that. The tower. This king of wands could be going through a tower moment. Knowing they need to walk away from a situation to move toward you. Not that you are interested. It's just the energy that I'm feeling, okay? Pass. Nine of wands. You are this wounded warrior. Nine of wands, please. Yeah. The truth was illuminated to you. God gave you the clarity that you needed to take the action to move away from a situation. Um, your strength, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, you're very grounded. You're stable. You can be business-minded. Um, yeah, and you're making a new investment. That's a strength for you. Learning new things. Investing in new things. Um, near future, Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in the near future. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in the near future. Yeah, that's so weird. That flipped heartbreak. Okay, so now this can be a Leo, could be an Aries. Um, this could be a father figure trying to have strength. This is someone from the past. Um, this could be somebody that wants to continue with this cheating, lying, stealing, or they know they have cheated, lied, or sold. And all they can do is remember loving memories from the past because now they're in heartbreak because of the deception, because of all that they've done against you. So now they're in heartbreak, feeling foolish because you've moved on. 
and put death to the situation. So it could be either or. But I feel like this person's in heartbreak because of the deception. All right. Um, the advice is you can see clearly put death to the situation, which I believe you have. Most of you have already put death to the situation. Advice, please. Yeah, because you have a high-level soulmate coming in, two of cups. You have to release an old situation that doesn't serve you in order to make room, space for this divine partnership to come into union. In the environment, people can see someone put a lot of work into a karmic relationship that's falling apart. Someone here is going to be abandoned, rejected, or in financial ruin. All right. In the environment, please clarify. In the environment. In the environment. Yeah, they can see somebody's in a nightmare. Nine of Swords. Haunted. Unable to sleep. Unable to eat, maybe. Somebody's haunted in the environment. This can talk about fast action or communication. Clarify the Eight of Wands in the environment. There's a lot of people talking. <laughs> There's a lot of gossip about this person that wanted to win at all cost. People are now talking about this energy that you were connected to in the past. Uh, they're seeing this person as just very low vibrational, a cheater, a liar, a snake, someone that'll say or do anything to win. And they're also seeing this person has got themselves in a really sticky situation they can't get out of. All right, yeah, chaos and conflict. A lot of stress, a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of ego, a lot of jealousy. All right, um, hopes and fears, eight of cups. What is this eight of cups and the hopes and fears? What is this eight of cups? Yeah, so somebody is afraid because you've walked away You've taken your power back and you're calling in a partner that's high vibrational. Somebody that's very grounded and stable that is your match. They see you as beautiful. They see you as passionate. They could see you as inspiring. They're afraid because you've walked away and you're connecting with someone new. In a potential outcome, we can see this past person having a tower moment due to deception. Tell me about the potential outcome, please. Tell me about the potential outcome, please. Yeah, you see, this person is carrying a heavy load, a heavy burden. This is someone that everything in their life has come to a standstill. There is nothing happening positive in their life. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, it is the slowest moving knight in the deck. In the reverse, there is no movement. There is nothing positive going on. And then we see you, the Queen of Swords, speaking your truth, cutting this person out. So this person is like backed into a corner. They bound themselves into a karmic cycle that is toxic. They can't escape the situation and they can't return to you. They've painted themselves in the corner. That's what I'm hearing. They've painted themselves in a corner. They didn't realize they were trapping themselves, but they were. Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. God. Wow. You know, God is bringing in a divine union for you. You are focused on your craft, uh, mastering your skill, embracing a new beginning, calling in new love, a love offer, brand new love. This is a passionate new beginning and gift and blessing from God, and you are the Empress. You're definitely protecting your energy. You're calling in multiple wishes. You're pouring into your own cup. You've made your decision to abandon a past situation that doesn't serve you, and you are being leveled up. You know, this can be more financial stability because you know the truth and you're being guided straight toward victory, success, and public recognition with a, a partner that matches your energy. This is all due to your healing. You are protected and this is divine love. So that's beautiful. All right. Let's get some signs and initials, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm still tired. Yes, I am still tired. You don't realize how out of shape you are until you start doing a lot of physical labor. And then you're like, oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Who's this reading about, Holy Spirit? Who's this reading about, please? All right, we got a flip. 
flipper. All right, bottom of the deck, Aries. We did see Aries too. All right, Q and X. X, Y. Uh, the letter Z. Pisces. We have the letter C. M. Aquarius. Libra. Leo. The letter E. Capricorn. The letter B. I don't know if I showed you the letter O. O. Okay. Not very many letters today, but <clears throat> again with a me. It's all about me. And mob. You know, that keeps coming out. Somebody could have got a group of people to come against you. Whatever. What's new? You know. Oh, box. Somebody could be into boxing. Somebody could be pack, packing boxes. Someone acts like a boy. Act like a little boy. Um... Somebody's third eye could be opening up as well. Could be getting more visions, downloads. Somebody's looking like a zombie. I don't have the eye. I got Z-O-M-B-E, but I heard zombie. Somebody might not be getting enough rest. We did see with the Nine of Swords there. C-M-E. C-M-E. C-M-E could make, mean something. bomb. Yeah, somebody could be getting some sort of truth bomb. Get some sort of clarity that shocks them. It's coy. Somebody thought they were being coy. <laughs> I did hear, hear Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. OB again. Somebody needs to go to the OB. Maybe someone's pregnant. It's your X, E, X. Zoe. Somebody could go by the name Zoe. Z O E. Z O E Y. Cob. Somebody could be eating corn on the cob, or somebody's last name could be Cob. I'm not sure. I did hear con. I don't have the letters for it, but I heard someone's a con artist. And then there's a sirens for confirmation. Um, somebody could be getting arrested for some sort of fraudulent activity. This was a con artist. So, let's get some advice, guys. What advice do you have for the collective? Wow, a lot came out. Help is on the way. You're receiving messages. Pay attention to your thoughts. What do you care if people don't like you? God loves you and supports you. Um, the past will return to test you. But buy yourself flowers. <laughs> Turn on your favorite music and dance to raise your vibration. New opportunities are headed your way. Pray like it's your job. Or at least what doesn't serve you. Being by water will help you. You have already won. That's been the theme of the week. Keep going. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Let's do another round, guys. And where's my... Oh, where's my right away? Give me a second. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. 
see what we get. Uh, current situation, you have a beautiful union coming in. If you haven't met this person, this is going to lead to marriage, everlasting love, joy, happiness. Look on the bottom, two of cups. That's only a, a twin flame. Um, a current situation. Please clarify the current situation. Whoops. Yeah. Your union is protected. You're also setting boundaries. This is justice playing out for you. You having this high level soul union is justice. Uh, the challenge is somebody is, sees that you're too persevering. You're planting good seeds. You're moving on to victory and they're watching. They're challenged by what they see. A challenge, please. They're challenged because you are building a legacy. Generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles. I don't know how they know that this is coming to you. But they do. Maybe they got a reading on you. I'm not sure. Um, with the focus, which you can see a King of Wands, um, they're focused on either they want to walk away from a situation to come towards you or the fact that you walked away. You are this earth angel. You're balanced. You're patient. Um, you're in the high vibrational temperance energy. Focus, please. Yeah, you're moving on. You're just moving on. You're embracing what makes you happy. You're embracing the energy of peace and you're being guided to move. Whether it's a physical move or energetic, you're moving on to peace. Past energy, nine of wands. You were the wounded warrior. But with the sun here, God gave you truth and clarity on the situation. Past energy, please. Yeah, you know, this was like, ten of swords to the eight of wands was like rapid fire. You know, this person, whoever you were connected to in the past, this may have blown you out of the water. Like you were now expecting this and you felt like you were under so much attack. This person really sought to destroy you in every way. And I feel like you could have gotten some sort of communication about what they were doing, or this is just the energy of rapid fire, like trying to take you out. And I feel this person, you know, they did get multiple people to get involved because they're a coward. They can't do anything on their own. They can't implicate themselves. So they have to get other people to do their work for them. Yeah, but they're experiencing karma now for it. Yeah, they regret taking those actions now. Because now all they've done is painted themselves in a corner. And they've lost you. All right. Your strength is you're grounded and stable. So if somebody tried to paint you out to be a crazy lunatic or something like that, it did not work. Um, you're too high vibrational, you're very grounded, and you are making new investments. Strength. I forgot to plug my, my microphone in, guys. Uh, yeah, they're also seeing you are speaking your truth and cutting out what doesn't serve you. I hope it's loud enough since I forgot to plug it in. Uh, near future, we can see somebody that was a cheater, a liar, and a snake. This is a father figure, someone it could be a Leo. This is someone from the past. Um, tell me about this near future. Why do we have the seven of swords in the near future? Why do we have the seven of swords in the near future? Oh, because they're stuck. They're stuck due to the things they've done, the cheating, the lying and stealing that has put them in the energy of being stuck. Give me one more near future. Yeah. This is someone that's stuck because they wanted to win at all costs. The blockages, they're going to be in heartbreak. They're going to regret it and they're going to be in heartbreak. They're breaking their own heart by the things they're doing. Um, the advice, you see clearly. Put death to the situation because you have a new beginning and love coming in with the Two of Cups. Advice. Yeah, that's exactly what I felt. Queen of Cups to the to the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning in love. This is a passionate new beginning and a gift and blessing from God. Yeah. So pay attention to your intuition. You may ha be picking up that this is coming in with the moon to the Ten of Cups. You don't see it yet, but you can feel it. Um, they're also saying tap into your intuition when you meet new people because... One of these options that's coming in is everlasting joy and happiness. This is someone that's very loving. Also, overcome your fear if you're afraid that people are going to cheat, lie, and steal. Not everyone is like the past person. They're not. There are plenty of high vibrational, healed, divine masculine, divine feminine energies out there. And that's what I'm seeing. It's beautiful. 
All right, in the environment, people can see your past person put a lot of work into a karmic situation that's falling apart. Someone that's going to be abandoned or rejected, they're in a nightmare. They want to communicate or there's a lot of gossip going on about this person wanting to win at all costs. They'll say or do anything to win in the environment. In the environment. Yeah. You know, give me one more. People can also see why you have blocked this person and that you're calling in a high vibrational king of pentacle energy and you are embracing a new beginning with a new partner. They know why, because they can see how dark this person is from your past. You know, this person may be used to wearing a mask, but now that mask doesn't work anymore. And I feel like it has to do with what they've done to you. The universe has stripped them of their ability to wear a mask. So they're exposing themselves. What used to work, um, you know, in their pretend game of life, it doesn't work anymore because God has removed the mask for, for the world to see. Um, in the hopes and fears, someone's afraid. You've walked away. You've taken your power back and you're calling in a king of pentacles. High level divine soulmate. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah. You know, this person may want to communicate with you. They may want to tell you that they feel abandoned or rejected or left out in some way or they abandon a situation. Give me one more, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to go through a tower and they may want to communicate and tell you that, that they've gone through a tower and they want to give you a love offer. I don't see you being concerned, especially if this person chose someone else over you. Why would you be concerned that their karmic relationship fell apart? No. Um, it's delusional thinking. Potential outcome, we see the tower due to deception. Someone's carrying a heavy burden. They've taken no action to rectify what they have done. Things are completely stopping in their life. Nothing good is coming, and you are the queen of swords. You're speaking your truth, cutting this person out. Yeah, you know, this person you see is someone that blows a lot of hot air. This person creates nothing but illusions, creates fantasies. They talk a good game, but don't deliver anything. This is someone that will lure people in by feeding them a lot of BS, but there's no truth in it. And so you know who this person is, a bag of hot air. And you know this person doesn't want the cycle to end, but it's not up to them. You know, you want to be free of this person. This is the lady of, or man of luxury. This talks about being independent. You don't want to be suffocated by someone that is nothing but an airbag. All they do is create illusions in people's lives. So you don't need this person to be prosperous. And you know that. You have found your confidence. And you're taking a brand new leap of faith elsewhere. Yeah, that leads to stability. A divine union. High vibrational. All due to your healing. Yeah. That's beautiful. You are the empress. A star. A wish is coming true. You are the star. And this is a stable uh, commitment. Love offer that's coming in. That is beautiful. And yeah. Your past people are jealous. Could be a king of wands that's jealous. Doesn't have to be. This person wants to play the victim now. But the truth is out in the environment with the sun. The truth is out. You know, about this person. They've taken no action to be accountable. God stepping in. Now blessing you with multiple wishes. You're celebrating your life. You have new collaboration. And this person is salty because they just missed out. And they're experiencing karma. In deep regret, under judgment. Yep, the same emperor energy. Mm. All right. Let's see, guys. We just pull some from the Kipper deck and see what we get. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I appreciate you guys so much. All of your love, your support. Um, your donations. I just love you guys. All right. Let's see. For this new moon. New moon. New moon energy. Yeah. 
It's beautiful. Family room, a happy home, a happy life. This could be like the Ten of Cups, calling in a great fortune. Courthouse. This can be someone having legal issues or this can just be like judgment. The universe calling judgment, bringing in what you deserve, your good karma. Yeah, expectation. What's the expectation? Wow. So a thief here had an expectation. But whatever they expected is ending. It's not happening for them. If they wanted to steal, whether it's your destiny, your light, you know, financial resources, uh, that's coming to an end. Yeah, if somebody from your past thought they were going to be wealthy by having a new beginning with someone else, all they did was trap themselves with imprisonment. They didn't become wealthy. They could also be getting a summons to court or be arrested with the official person here in the prison imprisonment card. They could also be, uh, yeah, going to jail for something they did against an empress. You, mature woman. Could be something they did online or to block your online business. A distant horizon. I dropped one, guys. I see sudden wealth for you. This can be justice. Card number 11. This can be due to a court case. Um, this can just be the spiritual realm bringing in wealth because that's what's due to you. And we see a karmic masculine here. Trying to act unconcerned or trying to block a message of concern. They could be trying to prevent people from hearing about whatever this news is as far as their legal issues. Yeah, this could have to do with a karmic bond that they're in. They could be married to a karmic energy and they're in bad health. This could be mental or physical. Yeah, because they're being exposed as a thief. This could be a lot of stress. You know, this is someone that could have tried to steal your gift, interfere with your gift, your blessing, and now they are in despair because they are reaping what they have sown. Your pathway is clear. You are of high honor. You have high spiritual ranking and you're being protected. Wow. And then we see a message and a house and a false person. Someone is receiving news. It could have to do with this home and a false person and a community. This also has to do with your past person who wanted unexpected income, but now they're deep in their thought. They put in a lot of work, but the cycle's closing, whatever they put time, attention, and energy toward. But with you, the privileged lady, and change here, there's going to be a change in your work. Things are going to start to align for you in occupation and toil and labor. And this karmic feminine who tried to interfere either in your union or in your life, they're going to be in poverty. This is definitely tied to some sort of either legal case or spiritual uh, law. They're very concerned now. This is a karmic couple. They're very, very concerned. So that's between them and God. You know, you'll have to be accountable for the actions you take, the energy you put out into this world. Um, and you can deny it. You can act like universal law doesn't exist until it does until things fall apart in your life and you ask yourself what's going on in my life you don't have to ask yourself that reflect back on the actions you've taken the things you have said done or thought you are responsible for all energy you send out into this world people don't understand that and until they do it's just going to continue you know people that have to demean others to make themselves feel better it's not working, especially now the mask has fallen. They're just making themselves look immature and petty and insecure. Uh, they're not recognizing that, but that's what the energy is that I'm feeling. Um, all right, guys, this is your first reading. I love you, and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.